Hey, Nick from the Asset Team here. As part of our latest release, we've got 42 new living room models, including sofas, coffee tables, and lamps. Perfect for quickly populating your next living space. I will show you how to quickly stage this empty room using all assets from our library. First off, I will use crown molding to make the transition from wall to ceiling smoother. Our library contains both baseboards for floors and crown molding for ceilings. In my case, I will go for the crown molding. From here, you have quite a few shapes and sizes to choose from. I will try out the Sculpted Cove crown molding. Make sure your 3D software of choice is connected in the bottom left, and then you can send over the asset with one click from Studio. As you can see, the crown molding asset imported with a 50 centimeter segment. However, cloning this segment along the perimeter of your interior is quite tedious. To speed up this process, we also include the side profile spline for each baseboard and crown molding asset. If for some reason the asset imported without a spline, simply go to your 3D software preferences and find the FBX import settings. In there, you want to make sure that curves, aka splines, are enabled. Now that we have our crown molding spline, let's set up a procedural sweep that will follow the perimeter of our room. I will start by selecting the room geometry and going into edge mode. Now, if your room has a fairly standard shape, you can use the loop selection tool, which is accessed with the shortcut UL in Cinema 4D, to select the entire perimeter all at once. However, if for some reason the loop selection doesn't behave as expected, you can go around and manually select each side by double-clicking the edges. Once you have the perimeter selected, you right-click and select Edge to Spline. This will create a perfect spline that follows the shape of your room. Now, to ensure even subdivision of our crown molding, we want to delete any extra points on our spline. To do that, select the spline and go into points mode. As you can see, my spline has a lot of unnecessary points. To clean them up, we select each corner while holding Shift and then inverting our selection with the shortcut UI in Cinema 4D. Now that all the extra points are selected, you can simply hit Delete. This will leave us with a clean spline which we can use to drive the sweep. This would also be a good time to rename the spline so you don't get confused later on. Now you can go ahead and create a sweep and put both of your splines inside. Make sure that the order is correct, otherwise you won't see your sweep. As you can see, even though we have the correct order, we still can't see our crown molding. The reason for that is that the center of our perimeter spline is not aligned with the center of our crown molding spline. To adjust this, turn off your sweep and go into the side view. From there, turn on axis edit mode and snapping, making sure that point snapping is enabled. Then you can simply drag the axis until it snaps in the corner. Now, when you turn the sweep back on, you should see that everything lines up correctly. However, if you get closer, you will notice that there are some shading artifacts. Those are caused by the lack of subdivision and fong angle. First thing we need to adjust is the spline segments. Select the room outline spline and change its intermediate points to uniform. Then, you can start increasing the number of segments until you get closer to the corner. After that, you want to select the crown molding spline and change it to subdivided. Lastly, select the font tag of your sweep, turn off edge break, and play around with the angle value until you get a smooth surface. Every shape will behave differently depending on the angle and the scale, so there are no preset values. You just have to adjust it depending on your scene. The crown molding is looking nice, however the ceilings in the room are pretty high, so I will scale up the spine to make it a bit bigger. Somewhere like this looks good. Alright, now let's give some life to our living space. I will hop back into Studio and go to the Living Room Models collection. Our team curated this assortment of timeless furniture pieces that will allow you to create countless combinations. Each subcategory of models offers different shapes, sizes, and functionality, so you can mix and match to your own taste. However, sometimes it can be challenging to design a cohesive living space, which is why we also include four curated living room sets. Each one of them follows a different design trend, including modern, traditional, eclectic, and mid-century modern. I'll go with the modern set for my interior. Hit send and it will instantly import into the scene. As you can see, it's basically done. The only thing you need to do is to adjust the placement to fit your room size. In my case, I will adjust the curtains a bit to fit the larger floor-to-ceiling windows. I will also bring the lamp over to this side of the couch. And lastly, space out the furniture a bit more to frame the camera angle. And there you go, your living room is fully furnished in a matter of minutes. Now comes the fun part of texturing. We also got you covered with over 2300 materials which you can use in your projects. Browse our library and have some fun mix and matching assets. 
We're excited to see the renders you guys create and make sure to tag us on social media when you use our assets. Until next time, have a good one.